Let's make honey garlic salmon. This is a simple salmon recipe that anyone can make. First, you gotta start off with your filet of salmon. I got this from Wild Fork and it costs about $20. So that makes it a budget recipe as well. First, you're gonna start by removing the scales on the salmon. If you bought it pre-scaled, then you don't have to do this step, but the best way to remove the scales is rubbing a serrated knife across them. Once you're done with that, you're ready to section the salmon into fillets. I do about three to four inch fillets, but you could do whatever you'd like. Once you've segmented it all up, then you're ready to get a stainless steel pan and a little bit of olive oil. Once the olive oil is heated up and just shimmering, you can add your fillets of salmon in. We're gonna be placing them skin down and you'll see them contract quite a bit. We're gonna combat this by placing a cast iron grill press on top of the fillets for about a minute. Once these have set and they're not contracting anymore, you can add salt, pepper, garlic powder, and a bit of paprika to your fillets. This is just a bit of preliminary seasoning. We are also gonna be making a sauce later, so don't go overboard with this seasoning. It's just to flavor the salmon a little bit while we're cooking it. Now, once your fillets have been cooking for about three to four minutes on the first side, we're ready to flip them over and get a little bit of color on the underside. Now, you should have a nice crispy skin like this. Nobody wants a floppy, gross, slimy salmon skin. So once you're done getting color on both sides, you're gonna remove it from your pan and make sure to leave all that fond in the pan because we're gonna be building our sauce off of that. Now for our sauce, we're gonna start off by mincing up a little bit of garlic. We're gonna do two to three cloves or whatever you'd like. I personally like a lot of garlic, but if you guys don't like a lot, you could put less. We're gonna throw some butter into our pan and keep it on medium low heat. Just get it nice and foamy, you don't want it to burn. Make sure to scrape all that fond off the pan and then we're gonna get this butter nice and brown. Brown butter's fantastic, but you have to make sure you don't burn it. Once your butter is a nice golden brown, you can add in your garlic. Mix that up and again, don't let the garlic burn either. Then we're gonna add in a bit of soy sauce. Now you can add as much or as little as you want. Just know that the more soy sauce you add, the saltier it's gonna be. So just keep that in mind. Next, we're going to add in a couple more spices. Same stuff as before, garlic powder and a touch of paprika. You can mix that up, just get it all well combined, and then we're gonna add in our honey. Now you're gonna add in about a tablespoon or two of honey. You don't want it to be overly sweet, but you definitely want it to be a flavor that comes through in the finished product. Once you're done making your sauce, you're ready to add your fillets back in. Notice how they aren't cooked all the way through. That's intentional. They're gonna finish cooking in the sauce, so we're gonna get that up to temp, turn it to about medium high heat, but again, common theme, do not let it burn, just to get it nice and bubbly. This will not only help with thickening up the sauce, but it'll also make it easier to baste your fillets. You're gonna to wanna to baste them for about a minute to two minutes or until the salmon is cooked all the way through. You can tell it's cooked all the way through once that pink center disappears, but you don't want it to be overcooked where it's flaking apart. Once that's done, you're ready to remove them, plate them up, after you've plated them, you can set them aside to rest for about a minute to two minutes. We're going to cut up some green onions or scallions in the meantime. I just think it adds a great pungency and sharpness to the dish, as well as a bit of color. So cut up only the green ends of the scallions. They have a much more mild flavor than the white ends, so they're great for raw applications. Now that your salmon is plated up, we're gonna drizzle a little bit more of that glaze or that sauce onto it. It's just in a little extra flavor. You don't have to do this if you don't want. Then you're gonna add on your green onions and we're gonna finish it off with some sesame seeds. You could use white sesame seeds if you like or a mixture of black and white, whatever you'd like. Then we're gonna garnish with some lemon wedges and this is essential guys. The acidity from the lemons goes great with the honey. You guys have to have the lemon. It adds so much to this dish. Now just look at how flaky this salmon is. It came out perfectly cooked, so juicy and moist and so tender as well. Now, it's time to see how it tastes. That's delicious. You guys have to try this out. Even an absolute newbie in the kitchen could cook this. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.